Hi everybody in Papua New Guinea. I just wanted to jump on here real quick. I know it's about 1030 at night your time. You're getting ready for bed. But I just wanted to jump on here real quick and let you know that we are praying for you and thinking about you. You know, the Bible says, before you call, I will answer and show you great and mighty things. Which means that whatever it is that you're worrying about right now, whatever you're thinking about as you're getting ready for bed, whatever's on your mind, before you even begin to call out to God about it, He already knows about it, already knows what you have need of, has already got the answers, and has already got things in place to help you with that situation. So as you get ready for bed tonight and get ready to go to sleep, just cast your burden over onto God because He promises He cares for you. And just know that there are people that are praying for you wherever you're at, whatever you're going through. There's people that are praying for you right now, lifting your name before God, and uh, that are trusting God to take care of you. In fact, I want to just do that with you real quick as you get ready for bed. Father, I just come to you right now in the mighty matchless name of Jesus. I pray for all my friends in Papua New Guinea. God, you know you've given us a heart for them and a burden for them and for that nation. And I pray right now, Lord, that you would be with them as they get ready for bed, that you would perfect that which concerns them, that they would be able to cast their burden over onto you and to begin to praise you right now for the answers that you have for them. Because, God, you've promised us that before we call, you'll answer and show us great and mighty things. And I thank you, God, for the answers that you're bringing into their life right now. I pray that you put your angels around them and keep them safe and keep their loved ones safe tonight. I pray that you'd give them peace. You said great would be the peace of our children and they would be taught of the Lord. Lord, these, these people in Papua New Guinea are children and grandchildren, spiritually of, of my grandfather and my father. And Lord, I just pray right now in the name of Jesus that you would be with them and that you'd give them great peace. And I thank you, God, for what you're going to do. I thank you that you're going to open doors that no man can shut, that you're going to break down bars of steel, and you're going to give them victory. And I claim it for them in the mighty name of Jesus tonight. And I thank you that angels are going before them to make the crooked path straight. And I thank you for sleep and rest for them. And Lord, that you're going to refresh them and help them as they wake up tomorrow with new divine ideas and guidance and wisdom in their life. And that they will be surrounded by favor like a shield. And I just declare it and decree it in Jesus' name. Amen. Just wanted to pray for you. Let you know that we're thinking about you. We love you. We're looking forward to seeing you guys this year. We're planning on coming over there for a celebration. Uh, 70 years since my grandfather first went to Papua New Guinea. 60 years since my father went to Papua New Guinea. And uh, I was born over there many, many years ago as well. So we look forward to seeing you guys. Just want you to know we're praying for you. We love you. Keep encouraged. God's got great things in store for you.